Hello YouTube, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. A Baltimore family is planning to file a lawsuit against Sesame Place after they've been discriminated against from their kids at the theme park. So let's play this video then we'll continue the rest of my commentary. Sesame Place in Bucks County is hit with a $25 million class action lawsuit. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartalia. A Baltimore family says its costume characters ignored their young daughter, who's African-American. Their attorneys released a video tonight. They say proves their little girl was snubbed on Father's Day at the Bucks County Amusement Park. Eyewitness News reporter Lisa Roberts is outside Sesame Place with the latest on these new developments. So, Lisa... Yuki, Jessica, good evening to you. The two new videos released tonight follow a now viral social media post from a New York mother. We stand here before you today simply trying to fight and protect little black children and their fundamental civil rights. Attorneys for the Burns family out of Baltimore filed a class action lawsuit alleging pervasive and appalling race discrimination against Sesame Place and its parent company SeaWorld after video shows what they say are several costume characters snubbing a five-year-old black girl for other white children. She was ignored amongst the sea of other young white children who were able to interact, give hugs, high fives. Those attorneys say Quentin Burns contacted their firm after seeing the now viral video where a New York mother alleges her black daughter and niece were passed over in favor of white children in the crowd during a Sesame Place parade. Burns says his daughter Kennedy was mm -hmm. devastated when a similar interaction happened to her during the recent visit on Father's Day. Just looking at her face, that's, that's, it makes me want to cry every time I see it. Lawyers are seeking compensatory and punitive damages in excess of $25 million and are asking other families who may have also experienced bias to come forward. We want to punish SeaWorld because they know what happened was wrong and we're sure that we are going to find that this was indeed a pattern that they were aware of. They just didn't care. Now, in a statement, Sesame Place says, quote, we look forward to addressing that claim through the established legal process. We are committed to deliver an inclusive, equitable, and entertaining experience for all guests. Sesame Place has apologized and stated they will review policies and make necessary changes. The attorney for the family in New York wants to emphasize they are not part of this class action suit. We're live tonight in Langhorne. Alicia Roberts, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. So, the families has already said they plan to have a class action lawsuit against Sesame Place after their kids have been discriminated against because of the color of their skin. Now, we still they didn't even know who are the characters behind the Sesame Place. And the question I want to ask you guys is why haven't they been fired of what happened? See, the Sesame Place should have even fired employees that were even ignoring the black kids of what happened. The black kids should have been suffering like this. They was very disappointed when their favorite characters even shake their, didn't shake their hands or one incident then then Bert slapped one of the one of the black girls and other incidents. And they, they need to be held accountable for those incidents. So I'm glad that the parents are planning on filing a lawsuit. But more parents need to be coming forward as well that it was involved. Their kids was involved in being discriminated against as well. So YouTube, let me know what you think about this video in the comments. And I'll talk to you in the next video. This is Lions Den signing off. Deuces.